first you have to choose a research topic then you have to do tons and tons of literature review to find the gap and then some more literature to see if you can fill that gap then you have to come up with research question and methodology and whatnot that means more literature so basically reading and analysis and research work is never ending but today i'm going to introduce some ai tools that can be your assistant to make your research a little bit fun a bit more expanded and the whole research procedure a bit quicker so let's talk about the first one which is semantic scholar once we sign in we can start searching for the topic that is of our interest and look at all the literature that is available on this website. So let's say I want to know about water resources. So I got around 650,000 results on water resources planning. Now I'm going to filter out. So we have options of field of study, date range. I definitely would want some recent papers. This has reduced our search to 212,000. That's good. We want the recent research here, right? And has a PDF, all right. You can see how the filter is working and our results are getting more and more refined. Or if you want research from a specific journal, there will be some journals and you can just click the one that you would like. For example, I only want papers from the journal Water. But usually you don't do that because once you're starting a literature, you need information that is across the journals that are available. And here we have 2,800 results. Now let's go ahead and actually just click on one of these options. I'm gonna go for the first one that we have. We get to this page where three citations have been done and we have all the details of the references that were used in this paper. And this is the part I like. There you can also find related papers. This is how I can use Somatic Scholar to grow my literature filter it down to a very specific topic that I have and then use related papers to further increase my literature review. Now let's go back up. What I can do is I can view via publisher. So here I'm going to go to the actual website that this paper is being published in. So here is the whole paper which I can download or print from here. If I want to create my own library on Semantic Scholar, I can save it to library and I can create a folder. Here you can see I have water and influential papers. Save and close. So it will be added to my library. If you directly want to cite the paper, this is the option we have. MLA, APA, all you have to do is copy it and you can paste it elsewhere. Then you have the option to export it to Bibtex or EndNote. The next tool is ScholarC. This is the article summarizer and also has a Google Chrome extension. You can do a free trial that is for seven days and then you can see if you like it, you can pay $9.99 per month to have this tool available for you. But let me tell you a quick way, which is free. If you go to pricing and then you go down here to browser extension and flashcards, you click try now and this is the page you get you get an article summarizer and what you can do is you can upload your document here which could be a pdf word or a simple text file or you can place the url here in the free version you can only get the summary of one article per day which is very less, but it's good to see what the tool offers. So what I'm going to do is use the paper that we clicked on in the last option, and I'm going to copy and paste the link here, and we're going to see what happens. It will take a while. You already get a pop-up saying that I have reached my free daily limit, and that's all right. Coming down here, the summary flashcard. Click key concepts. This will show you all the keywords that has been used in this paper. For example, it's, it is a case study. It involves biochemical oxygen demand. And if we click on any of the keywords, we'll get a Wikipedia page and we'll show you the definition and other details of it. That's a really cool part. Coming back to our article summarizer, let's go down. Let's start by only reading the highlighted part to get a general idea. Then comes another cool part, Scholar C highlights. Scholar C is going to give you the major highlights from the article here. If we click on Scholar C highlights, you can see that there are some bullet points already done for you where you can get the gist of the whole article in a few clicks, in a few seconds. The third cool part about this tool is Scholar C summary. And here you don't get just a paragraph paragraph as a summary. They have done it in headings. So the introduction, there will be a summary of, about that. Then there are objectives which are very important to understand any article. Methods, there, the, the method section has been summarized. And then comes the results section, which is again summarized into just a few lines. The main reason I wanted to show this to you is that 
I think that $9.99 per month is worth it if you are looking to speed up your literature review. And some of the students, what they can do is have this amount added into their research project and that could be reimbursed or that could be paid by the project itself or by the university and the professors. Before I move on to the next one, the other part is the Chrome extension and when you click that you will get this page which says scholarship browser extension and when you click add to Chrome it will be added to your Google Chrome. The third tool is Humata. It is chat GPT for all your files. So what they do is you can have your paper there and you can ask all sorts of questions and it will answer and explain you the paper. So here you can see, you can summarize long papers, you can do instant Q and A, and you can even write the papers. Coming to the pricing, there is a free version. You can only upload a file that has 60 pages, though there will be unlimited questions that you can ask. There are some limitations compared to the pro version, which is 14 99 per month and then there is an enterprise option so let's go ahead and see what do they have as a free version so i'm going to drop a file i'm going to use the same paper on water resources and planning and we're going to see how this works there we go we have the paper pdf here if we click ask the whole paper will be on the right side and we can ask the questions here and already it's giving me a little bit of a summary and it has shown me some example questions that I can create from this paper. So let's go ahead and ask questions about this document. Okay, what are the limitations of this paper? Okay, we have around six overall. And on the right side, they have highlighted the section from which the information is gathered. The next tool that I want to introduce is teachanything.com. This is like a tutor that will help you understand complex scientific terms and concepts when you are just so much indulged in literature review. There is a pro version, but there is a generate answer, which is a free one. So you can ask your question, you can select the language in which you want your answer to be, and then you can select the difficulty. So if you want a professional answer or you want an easy language to explain to a toddler. Let's go ahead and ask a very basic question. What are the sustainable development goals? We want it in English and we want it to be easy. Generate answer. Dots to type right away. And if you like the answer, you can share it on Twitter. Next tool is Copilot. Copilot helps you with your literature review. It summarizes a text. It can explain text, figures, tables, any unfamiliar acronyms, and even equations. In addition, there is an AI assistant and you can ask all sorts of questions about a certain paper using that assistant. I have a whole video on Copilot that will help you navigate around the whole tool and how to actually make the most out of the tool. When you are doing research, you have to constantly be in that zone. And to help you with that, there is a tool called listening.io where you can listen to the papers on the go. Whether you're on a treadmill or on a bus or cooking, you can listen to your papers while doing something else. What you can do is upload the document from your desktop or on your mobile and then you can start listening. You can choose which part do you want to listen to. For example, if you just want to listen to abstract, there is a Chrome extension as well. This app is available for you for free for two weeks as a trial and then it will cost $12 per month. Other than these apps that I introduced, there are so many other apps like Han Migo, AI Assistant, Bard, Bing AI, and so many new ones keep on coming every other week. The idea is not to get overwhelmed, but to optimize your research work. So watch videos like these to get an idea of which tool suits you the best. Let me know if you use any apps already for your research and how helpful they have been for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to write in the comment section. Until my next video, bye.